What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tony Two Wild checking in once again. I'm finally here to do my confidential closet tag. Shout out to uh, Sneaker Life, my boy Mike, for tagging me in this. Um, it's been a little time trying to get you know other videos out the way, so I'm finally having the time to do this. Uh, pushing back the weekly sneaker rotation to uh, do this one, so weekly sneaker will be tomorrow and whatnot. Um, sorry for the last video's audio guys and sorry for the audio on this one. My girl has my mic. We were shooting a video, doing some video work, so I accidentally left it over at her house. So the, the audio might sound still a little crazy, but better than, than last time, hopefully. Um, but, uh, and also, Two Wilds Closet, I have a couple of t-shirts still left up on there. I'm going to be uploading some, um, some shoes and whatnot throughout the week. But, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. Cl uh, confidential closet tag let's go so for number one the question was and I got these questions from a, on Google you know I, I, I they're, they're very similar to Mike's I don't know if they're all the exact same but very similar to what Mike asked there was 13 of 14 of them um, the first question is what is the oldest item in your wardrobe slash closet okay the oldest item I could look through and I couldn't really find necessarily the oldest because some of this stuff I can't even remember when I bought it but there is an item that I bought last year, or I think earlier this year, that is older than everything, probably in my closet. And that is the Jordan 6 Low University Blue. Um, this, on the inside of it, says 2002. At that time, I was... 2002, I was at least 11 or 12 years old. So, this has to be the oldest item in my wardrobe, 2002. I, was, I had to be in the 7th grade, so I had to be 12. Uh, at least 11 or 11 turning 12 or 12 but um yeah i was 11 turning 12 because it says january on it so it probably released in june i'm not really 100 percent sure but you know that it is um 2002 items so it has to be the oldest item in my collection in my wardrobe for the second question i have what is the newest items in your wardrobe and that would have to be the recent video i did recently with sakoni the four pairs of shoes the uh beta pack and then the I call them the Vice, you know, the Vice City. Uh, these are the Shadow 5000s, and then it's the regular Shadow Original NYX colorway. This is the newest item of the collection. Reviews will be going soon on these. So shout to Sakoni for that. But these are the newest items that's in the wardrobe and in the closet. That's the second question. The next question is, what is your most expensive item in your collection? And looking through, I had to take a good little guess. And I had a, I, I had a, I had to say that for this one was the uh, Supreme Phone Posits. I spent, I think, like 550 for these over at Soul Exchange. Uh, I'm not, I don't like dropping money like that on sneakers, but I was, I was a hype beast at that, at the moment when I saw them, and I was just like, you know, forget it. 500 on, I did it, and I love these shoes. Still got the sole protection on the bottom. I dived in the pool in them. I love them, you know, and. Uh, I still enjoy it, and that 500 doesn't hurt my stomach thinking about it. If they did, I could have got my money back fast, but I'm still happy with them. $500, Supreme Phone Posit. This is my probably the most expensive item in my whole collection, wardrobe, and all that. Next question is, what is the most affordable slash cheapest item that you use a lot? I'll take these off my feet. Bam. Has to be. 20 bucks, Nike Slides, I got them. At a uh, rack room shoes for twenty dollars, you can't you can't beat it. I wear them all the time. I wear them. They get they these shoes get worn once a day, and you know, you know when I'm in the house, or wherever they're getting worn majority of the day. You know unless I step out. So most affordable item, Nike slides you can't beat it. And some of this stuff, guys, I probably just link it below in the description. You know I could probably find you these for twenty bucks on eBay. Nike slides you can't beat it. Real basic, and this is the most affordable slash cheapest item that I use a lot most often that's the fourth question fifth question is what was your biggest bargain and I have to give a big shout out to my boy JH kicks for this one I would probably say one of my biggest bargains was the Nike DB uh, DB pennies that I got for basically retail ship shout the JH kicks for this got these for retail shipped I wanted them and missed out on the release date he uh he was holding on to them trying to get rid of them but he eventually just sold them to me for retail shipped and uh, I guess that was a pretty one of, one of the pretty biggest bargains of uh you know doing sneakers and whatnot and i have to give a huge shout to him for that jake thanks for these and i still wear them and i live in them so it's a good thing next was what was the biggest waste of money this shoe is not a waste but the whole thing behind it was a waste of money 
me look down here. Everything is on this chair I got beside me. The biggest waste of money was the Jordan 6 Sport Blues. I got these like three months advance um, and spent like $325 on them. I got the video out, dropped it. The video was great. Bam, somebody hated, flagged the video. The video was flagged and taken off of YouTube. So that whole, my, all that money that was spent just to get the video out early was gone. But recently, about a couple, maybe earlier in January, I would say, the video popped back up on YouTube. I got the video back. So it's a waste of money, but the videos there. I have two Jordan 6 videos if you check on my channel. There's two Jordan 6 reviews. One was this one from, you know, way back, and then I redid the video. The same shoe, you know, but uh, I had to redo the video once it, like, released. But a uh, waste of money in some ways, but, hey, I, I keep them for that. And I don't think I would sell them just because I spent so much. $327 and like, some crazy shit like that, you know, just to do the video early for you guys. But it is what it is. Not a not the hurtful waste of money, but it is a waste of money in my opinion. Let me know below. Jordan, let's see. Number seven. What are your three favorite items right now? My three favorite items right now. And I bought these. I bought this a while back. I don't know why. I love this this shirt. This jersey is all leather. It's by a weird brand. No brand. No name brand. Royal Army. But it's like a leather, like, you know, this is leather jersey. And it's gonna be getting pop popping for the for the winter time. So that's why I kind of one of my favorites right now. I haven't worn it yet, but it is one of my favorites coming out. So stay tuned for that. See some pictures with that soon. This is one. Number two, of course. Sample line D. I gotta, you know, it has to be my one of my favorites because it's my item that you know me and, and uh, Bull created, the Savage Bomber, and those will be coming out to you guys this week coming up. So stay tuned for the uh, tracking if you pre-order them. You know we got the pre-orders coming like this month, this week. So just stay tuned and be patient. That is the second item, and the third item, of course, you can't have a Savage without a Warrior. So that's another one. These are coming out. And these are my, you know, still my favorite items. And it's getting cold, so they're going to be being put to good use. So that's the main thing about this, and I'm happy. And uh, what we got next will be the greatest items we, I've ever had. What's coming out next. So just stay tuned. Make sure you follow Sample IND on Twitter and Instagram for all the updates on that. And just me as well. Let's see what the next question is we got. What is the most outrageous slash colorful item in your closet that you absolutely love? I've never worn this t-shirt. I love this t-shirt, but the reason why I don't wear it is because I don't wear the shoes like that. And that would have to be, and these shoes are still for sale, the Jordan 5 Bel Airs, but this shirt. I got this shirt for like 60 bucks or like 50, 60 bucks online. Um, it's, it just goes perfect with those Jordan 5 Bel Airs, which are still for sale. So if you want them, email me and you can get this shirt thrown in with the package if you want to copy it. The shirt is a size medium. Uh, all polyester tee, so it won't fade. And this is a colorful, I love the shirt, I won't lie, but I just can't seem to want to rock my Bel Airs like that. I just don't know. I'm ready to get rid of them. This is a shoe. I don't know. At the time, I was happy, but now I only worn them one time, so it is what it is. But this is probably one of the most colorful items in my, in my uh, closet. What is your favorite piece that you've gotten in gift? This is a very hard one. I mean, shout out to my boy Brandon Ron Bimmer from Sockney, from all the shoes they've given me. Shout out to Champ Sports, shout out to Cousins Brand, shout out to Mark Wynn, shout out to like everybody, man. Like, one thing I'm gonna show you. You know, champagne, bam, we getting sent champagne and stuff. Like, is this healthy? You know what I'm saying? Like, we get, you know, it's so many t different types of gifts. I would say this gift right here is the most, though, because it means the most to me and it's most recent. And that's by Champ Sports, and that's the Vic Twos. It's just an old school shoe that I wanted so bad when I was growing up. And when they gave them to me, I felt like they knew me for a second. I felt like they really just cared about me personally. Like, Tony, I, we, we care about you. I'm pretty sure they care about me, but I felt like a person to them. So this is my favorite gift so far um, to have in the collection to have, and that will never leave me or my side. And that is the big twos. Shout out to Chance Force for this one. Love it. My favorite gift. What is your most comfortable item to wear? And that will be these joggers by Published Brand. Pu pu ah, Publish brand. Um, I'm not sure the exact name of these. These are like a knit though. I bought them off Jack's Threads. And the material is like super soft. They're like an ivory colorway. It might pick up as white, but it's like a uh, white, whitish yellow. 
They're just super comfortable. If I could live in them, if I could have a thousand pairs of these, I would wear them every day. Like right now, I'll be wearing them. They're super comfortable. Um, sleep in them, whatever. You can do everything in these. And these are my most comfortable. Most, and it's very recent I picked these up. But I would love to get black or something if I could find some more colorways for them. And I got them for like 40 bucks on Jack Threads as a steal. And I am just I just love them. I love these. I love these. Let me see if I can find, what's it say? Tomorrow, today for tomorrow. That's what it says in there. I don't know the exact name. If I can find it, I'll put it in the description below. But most comfortable items I have in my collection. What is the most uncomfortable item, but you would take the campaign because you love it. And that would have to be the most recent Adidas Off-White. These shits hurt my feet, but I love them and I keep wearing them and I'm gonna keep them just cause it's gonna be a pain in the ass trying to sell them and then buy the pair from like Jake or something. Jake has a pair, but it's just too much to do. Um, if somebody can set it up, if Jake, if you can set it up, we can make it happen. But um, I love these size seven and a half, but they fit like an eight, but they, they're killing my foot. But I love them and I wear them because I love them. And that's just plain and simple. A poor man push a tease. And that's the most uncomfortable thing in my closet that I wear. Show us your favorite complete outfit. All right, hold up for this one. All right, I'm gonna start it off with the Canon Nixon in all gold. Just had that all gold everything appeal going on. We'll put that right there. Put this phone to the side. Canon Nixon. This is one of my favorites. I wore this probably one or twice, but these are some of my favorite items, so I'm putting them together. And I can switch them up. It's hard to really wear a favorite outfit. I always switch things up, so it's not always gonna be the same. Top, we'll pull out the 10 deep bucket hat right here. For the top top, pull out the 10 deep victory and uh, Sample got something coming out, which will be a little bit better in my opinion. Something similar, but better, better. Uh, Tendi uh, Victory um, fleece, jacket, whatever you would like to call it. Just wait till you see what we got up our hands though. But I love this, I can't lie. Show respect to Tendi for that. And then probably for the jeans, I would rock these bullhead denim stone wash jeans. I'll leave a link to these below. You probably can still buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one half off. Full denim, they're skinny, but they don't fit super skinny. Like they're they're comfortable, they fit a uh, real nice slim fit. Bull uh, bull head denim, and then for the top off the, the bottom of the shoes, pull out the black metallics, and we'll be just straight. I mean, you know, we got the gold and we got the we got the maneuvers going on. Let me know what you guys think about that outfit. Would that outfit help you out? Would it give you some booty meat? It might it might do it. You might have to get the booty meat off that. She might have to let you get it. Or get the game, you know, the topper. Next question. Um, pick your favorite black item and your favorite white item. I don't even think I did that one. Shit. I ain't gonna lie though. The 10 deep so far till sample drops. Ah, hint, hint. Favorite white item. Favorite white item. Favorite. Black? That's hard, but I see these here. This is uh, very simple. Simple, 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 but the sample IND Terry fleece, all black with the set, though also the shorts that go with it. Very comfortable, very soft, gonna keep you warm. And it's a sweater, a sweater t shirt. I mean, it's just clean, and you got the splits on the side. These sold out very fast, thanks to all the love and support on that. These sold out, the black sold out first and sold out very fast, but uh, very good. And this is my favorite all black item. Let's see what else we got left. Last question. Where do you shop at the most? Excuse me. This one's hard to just pick one, guys. You already know. I, I, I think right now PacSun is just strong for me. We got PacSun is very strong. Jack Threads is very strong. Urban Outfitters is very strong. Zoomies is good. Macy's is good. I mean, it's a couple places, but, you know, in that order. In that order. I have to say PacSun is my favorite right now, though. Paxson is moving really good. Hopefully, Karma Loop gets his life back. I still haven't shot with them yet, guys, so I don't know. But Karma Loop was a great place. I still don't know about it yet. But when I do, I will drop the video and let you know when I'm back on board with Karma Loop. If I get back on board, I will let you guys know. So a lot of you guys ask me that question, but I don't have the answer right now. When I do have the answer, you will know. But that is the last question for this Closet Confidential. We're at 16 minutes. Goodness fucking gracious. Hope you guys are still alive and still around. I'm going to go ahead and tag my boy Bullet RC because he still ain't did a video. So I'm going to tag Bullet RC. I'm going to tag, uh, I don't know if Fomer, if you did one. I'm going to tag Fomer though because I don't know if Fomer did one. But we're going to go ahead and get Fomer in there. We're going to see, um, 
All these people I don't even know they did them. T Blake, I like to see T Blake. I like to see Eddie win and Yo Auntie. I'm gonna pick five people. I ain't gonna do too much. So I'm gonna say Bullet RC, T Blake, Yo Auntie, Eddie Win, and Fomer Simpson. Hopefully none of them guys did the video. If they did, uh, if one of them did, I'll just swap the title out or something, and I'll add another person in there. Uh, those are the top five. Other five that are in my mind. Uh, I could do T DB Town 24. I could do Rob Dollar. I could do Scoop. I could do um. I think Dells did it. I don't know for sure. Somebody, the, the person, the mic tag DJ Dells, so I know that. Um, who else can I tag? Um, I tag goddamn. We are the trend. I don't, you know, always fresh apparel. We'll tag some of them people. Somebody else will get it. But those are the top five right there. Five. So thanks, Mike. Love you, bro. It's my light skinned brother right there. There's only a couple light skinned niggas on this earth right now that are still alive. Drake is. Drake was losing. Now he's winning. So we're starting to get our. Our population back on board but i appreciate the tag bro and love you guys who all stayed and watched the whole video stay tuned to wild news what would tony d do i got some reviews coming i got some some i just caught i'm gonna let you know i caught the sixes so stay tuned for that review and uh i'll see you guys on the next video it's your boy tony d too wild i'm checking in checking out thank you cameron for not cutting off make sure you follow me on ig twitter instagram i said it twice snubs and facebook peace oh,